Hi everyone, Susanna and Harvey here. Bye Harvey. So I recently spoke at a wonderful conference called Talent 42 about how to source on GitHub. And what I discovered is that one, sourcing on GitHub is pretty darn difficult to do, nearly impossible, and a whole lot of recruiters and sourcers just give up because they don't know how. Um, so there's definitely a whole lot of untapped potential and candidates that you're missing because you don't know how to actually go about sourcing on GitHub. So I figured that I would share a couple of my tips. Um, first, I just wanted to go over quickly that there are three different ways to search for GitHub users organically. One is just using the GitHub, GitHub search bar that's actually within um, the GitHub homepage. Then GitHub also offers an advanced search option. And of course, all of us sourcers love creating a mean, lean Boolean string. So Google X-ray searching is the way to go. So just a quick look up here at the GitHub homepage. When I click into the search bar, immediately, if well, let's just say I'm searching in Seattle, you'll notice that I'm actually searching for repositories, which are like, projects that programmers keep their code in. So that's not very effective. So just like we have with, as you can see the repository results there. So just like we have our search operators within Google and any other search engine, um, GitHub has them as well. So here on my little one pager, if you can see it, I highlight a couple of different useful um, operators when searching for individual profiles using, again, that GitHub search bar. So in my example, I used the location is Seattle, and I was looking for people that are familiar with Python. And another thing is that I would like reputable individuals, um, meaning I, I want folks that people are following, people that are active. Um, so for that very reason, I just said, hey, I would love for these folks to have at least 10 followers and at least 10 projects that they've either created or contributed to. So with that search, you can see that I come across 523 users. Now, a different way to go about this is actually using GitHub's advanced code search. It makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, so scrolling down, because we are still looking for users, Again, I'm looking in Seattle with at least 10 followers. And actually, let me go back. You can see here that uh, the advanced code search actually, I'm pointing at the screen, that's kind of funny, um, actually shows you different ways of representing those number ranges. I just went with the typical dot, dot, asterisk. And then again, with the repositories, and I'm still being consistent by searching for individuals with Python familiarity. A little quick search there, again, 523 users, fantastic. Now, the third way to go about searching for um, these profiles within GitHub is using that Google X-ray search methodology. Now, I've already created a string here in which I am Searching within the site, GitHub, I've noticed that all of the GitHub user profiles, they have block or report, those keywords, word for word within them. And then I'm also not looking for any repositories or any, you know, the bells and whistles. I just want the profile. So that's why I have not in URL tab as well as not in URL repositories. Um, and Again, I'm searching within Seattle and Python is my primary language that I'm sourcing for. However, I don't have the flexibility of identifying individuals that are followed or that heavily contribute like I was within GitHub's own search. So just for, just for the sake of it, my results here come back with an overwhelming amount of individuals. Um, out of curiosity here, we have 1,160. What if I were to eliminate these followers and repositories? Let's see how, oh gosh, alrighty then. So as you can see, um, 
Searching on GitHub is hard. It really is. However, there are a few handy dandy tools that are free that help make this a little bit easier for us. The very first one, and actually the newest one that I'm familiar with, is called Developer DB. And as you can see here, I'm actually creating like a Boolean string um, within their site. And then this in turn searches GitHub for profiles. So Python um, and Seattle, again, consistency. And I would like to prioritize my search based on expertise. But hey, diversity is right there. It's pretty killer. And a quick search, hopefully it's quick, reflects a whole lot of folks. Um, but as you can see, it this completely portrays their profiles in a different manner. I'm able to see their current companies which is not necessarily accessible on a GitHub profile, um, as well as I get a clip of their expertise. Let's take a deeper dive. And as you can see, obviously developer DB has aggregated this information from other sites. So this gives me a much more in-depth understanding of who, who this person is that matched my search criteria. Um, now, with this being said, Developer DB, I believe they offer 300 free credits, and those credits count only if you click Get Email, which hopefully in an, in an upcoming video, I'll be able to show you a hack for getting any GitHub user's email for free. Um, moving right along. So that's one way to go about searching. Another is Octohunt. And again, I'm, oh, I'm not searching for that. I'm searching for Python in Seattle. And oh, there's good old Jake. He was at the top of the other search results. This just gives a different, um, of course, a glimpse as to the profiles and the results. But one thing that is killer here is this little luggage flag. And that indicates that these guys are available for hire. Now, that is something that is not broadcast on GitHub. However, there is an extension that will help you do that. Um, but since this is just about searching for users, I'll save that for a later date as well. So again, different way of um, kind of structuring your search results, I suppose. Now, one other, let's go ahead and click on Jake's profile here and his username. Now, oh, I've already searched for good old Jake. All right, so if I were to search for Jake within this git slash awards.com, I get a glimpse of how he ranks um, his, his programming knowledge and language proficiency based on his general location as well as the United States and worldwide. Now, what I think is really cool about this is that I can go on ahead and say, hey buddy, I see you're 16th in Seattle when it comes to your Python knowledge. Click on Seattle and I'll be darned, I have a full on um, list of individuals that I absolutely want to explore further. So, in terms of searching on GitHub, yes, it's difficult to actually identify what it is that you want, um, but there are various ways of searching on GitHub. Now, what I just showed you are the three kind of go-to ways, um, as well as, of course, those tools. But there are some paid tools that I do recommend, such as Amazing Hiring. They also have an extension that's free, but they're sourcing their search capability is not, um, as well as Sourcing Lab, and my favorite is Seekout. Um, just very, 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 very quickly, I am going to show you how incredible Seekout search results are compared to those that we've been toying around with. And so they actually have their own GitHub um, tab, so they fancy. So going over here to city, I would love to explore Seattle programmers with the language proficiency in Python. And I'll be darned, look at the amount of candidates that just populated compared to the other search results. Going back here, 2,000 some odd, 500 some odd, 11,000. This is nuts. So what Seekout is doing is they're actually aggregating all this profile information based on not only the individual's GitHub profile, but their associated social links like LinkedIn, um, as well as, hey, they have like 
27, 29 other um, social networks that they aggregate their information from. Now, not only, going back to my search quickly, not only am I able to identify the location and the language that I would like to um, source for, but I'm also able to assess how good these individuals are at the language that I'm searching for. So, hey, I only want the experts, of course. Experts or masters, preferably. I still have a ton of candidates. Um, in addition, I have a ton of filters that I can toy around with. Uh, one of my absolute favorites is, let me search here, diversity, ding, ding, ding. Gotta love my female programmers. Um, and I'll be darned, there are a handful of them in Seattle. So anyway, uh, that is a sneak peek of a tool that is not free. However, I hope that given all of this information, sourcing for GitHub user profiles is now a little bit easier for you. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly at Marie, And um, I'll see you all next time. Take care.